to give away yes. LAX. Yes. Uh, the, your restaurant is called Paparazzi. You Italians, you're born, raised, uh, trained in Italy, you've been in LA for quite a while now, and you're a chef by art. Yes, absolutely. I'm from Sicily, actually, south of uh, Sorry, Italy. not merely Sicily different, right? No, 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 it's not different. It's pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same. So, southern roots and uh, a lot of seafood, and especially we look uh, to use the freshest ingredients possible. So, your mom, uh, you learn to cook. Uh, Absolutely, yes. So yes. some of your, your menu on the, the restaurant is only Italian cuisine. Is Italian cuisine? Even though we're in a hotel restaurant at the airport, there are no uh, continental food. There's not even a hamburger. It's everything is Italian. Inside paparazzi, everything is Great. Italian. So we started with burrata, now with tomatoes. Yes. We have the, uh, some special. We have sardines with yep. eggplants. Sardine. Uh, we Fresh have sardines coming from Europe, actually. We use a lot of sardines in Sicily, so as a Sicilian chef, what I can do? Sardines. We have, I have to try the pizza. Absolutely, yes. We do. Um, then you have your... your uh, the Chopino, the Chopino de Paparazzi, which is our uh, specialty, one of our specialty. We do a fennel tomato broth, and then we use a lot of fresh shellfish and fish. It's a, it's a classic Italian stew. Even though the name Chopino, I know that it was born here in the States, in San Francisco. Uh, then we had a Franzino. Franzino, a Ludemer. A Ludemer with tomato and with a very nice uh, vinaigrette, which we're going to talk about uh, yeah. in, a, in a few yeah. minutes. We, another special of the house was the lasagna. Okay, oh, the, the, the lasagna, you see, you have to try that. Yeah, they've had a lot of food, I, I, and I'm really happy you forced me to, you know, to play it on, on the table. What's the thing about this lasagna? Well, our lasagna is a little bit different than the classic one. Most of the time you can find the lasagna with a classic bolognese, or the meat sauce inside. What we're doing over here, we do our lasagna al brasato, that means braised, the short ribs. So, we braise the short ribs for a very long time, then we pull the meat with the same sauces, and we layer the short ribs uh, uh, together with some sauté spinach, some bechamel, and some ricotta cheese. Yeah, and, and then, then the, we do a little grappé. And, and, the, and the pasta by itself, the dough that you made with the it. The dough, the dough we do in house. You know what you Zero, did? zero flour. You forgot your mother's parmesan eggplant. Parmesan. Oh, the eggplant parmigiana. Even though the name parmigiana is coming from Parma, north of Italy, is a recipe that is very popular in Sicily. We use a lot of eggplant. And what we do uh, here, our eggplant is a little bit different. You want to build, uh, like you say in French, a coverture to the eggplant. We slice the eggplant very thin. We do a butter uh, pretty much simple, uh, close to the to the crab one. So we dredge the eggplant in this uh, uh, butter and we fry the eggplant and then we layer with a fresh buffalo mozzarella, the Parmigiano Reggiano, and some some marzano tomatoes. And also buco, a very nice piece of veal. Yeah. On it's the, organic. On it's the... actually organic our beef. Uh, all the beef that we're using here, all the meats that we're using in Paparazzi are organic. The veal is organic and uh, they never use hormones, uh, antibiotics. And our presentation is the classic one that is known, uh, is known as the Milanese one. So we do some soft result on the bottom. To make it a little bit creamier, we mix some mascarpone cheese and then we sit the also on top of the And at the beginning of the meal, we didn't talk about that yet because I wanted, I was very, um, I got passionate about that uh, dish. It was pushed to the tartar. Okay, we're in LA, tuna tartar is everywhere in every restaurant, and and you have a very different version of the tuna tartar that you created. So we're gonna uh, make it Absolutely. together right now. So. Let's start and then well, we'll the classic see. tuna tartare that you see in Los Angeles are something green, which is most of the time is avocado. Uh, we're using a different uh, ingredient, which is artichokes. So we clean the artichokes, we use only the heart of the artichoke, and we blend it up with some extra virgin olive oil from Sicily too, some lemon juice, some haricot verde, and some celery, and we do like a passata, what we call in Italian a passata or a which is, which is a is, puree of okay. artichokes, exactly. Okay. Then we use the fresh tuna. 
what we're doing. It was nice to do now. I like the side of the uh, pieces that you made. When, I like when they're big. When they were yeah. big ones, yeah. It's a nice steak of a hockey tuna. We will dice them up. So it's a very creative uh, uh, tuna tartare because of these artichokes and the vinaigrette that uh, you're using, which it is... Uh, it's, a, it's a blood orange salmorillo. Like I said, I'm coming from Sicily and actually southeast of Sicily, the city of Avola, which is a thing known all over the world for the, the wine, Nero d'Avola. And uh, uh, the citrus is very popular over there and oranges especially, and lemons, and the blood orange that we have in Sicily. And uh, what I'm doing, I'm using the juice of the oranges, of the blood oranges, to make our salmorillo, which is uh, an olive oil, an extra virgin olive oil based dressing. I add some garlic, some shallots, some fresh meat, parsley, and uh, oregano, fresh oregano. So usually when you get, you know, tuna tartare, you're, you, you, you get a bite and you're used to, a, to spice. It kinda, there's a kick to it. And yours was like, hmm. But actually, what, there's a trick in the plate. You need to mix everything up. You need to mix everything. Because you don't mix the artichokes and the tuna tartare. So you do, let's do the plate, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to use a little more. And then we can put some of the artichoke puree. That was good, and you can really tell it's, it's a French artichoke that was uh, used to make this uh, puree. Like half of the mold. So that's a quite a, a time-consuming dish to make, to create, oh, right? Yeah. yeah, you can still see the pieces of the artichoke. What right do you do the with middle. the leaves of the artichokes? Do you do some other stuff? or? Um, no, no. no, we're using only the heart. Even though in Italy we use the whole fruit, in this case, I'm using only the art of the artichokes. Then, we go with the tuna. And like I told you, what we're doing, we put the tuna in this little bowl. So the tuna gets the first seasoning from yes. this one here. And we go with the salmorillo. And we mix it up a little bit. Plus, what I'm always adding is a lemon oil, which is an extra virgin olive oil from Villa Manodori in Italy, which is flavored from... So it's pretty intriguing that we're, we've already said that we're in a hotel restaurant at an airport, LAX, which is a huge airport, and, you know, hotel restaurant, and especially when it comes to airport restaurant, they don't have a good reputation, and they don't, the food's not good, they don't have good produce to start with, so nothing can come out nice from the kitchen. I mean, it's, it's tough. And then here, you, you're getting fresh fresh fish from Europe. You're yes. getting fresh meat from uh, only organic throughout the different places in the US. Uh, fresh vegetable, organic, which you can tell, you know, you're just eating them. You, it's, it's, you're, you're very lucky to be able to have that liberty to uh, Oh, yes, to absolutely. Create, yeah. I'm very lucky to be here, even though, like you said, you know, uh, an airport hotel. But uh, we try to do our best. And like I told you, most of the time, it's not just the chef, but it's the quality of the ingredients to make your plate better. So, let's remove the mold. This is pretty much done. What we're doing over here, oh, that, 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 we that, reduced that. just the blood orange juice yeah. for a very long time. I'm adding a little sugar, not, no, not too much sugar on the rub. And it's sitting for a few hours, very low temperature. We're doing a sort of a syrup, so we're gonna use this one. The dynamics is very different to not tartar. It's a very uh, interesting dish, and then you have this, you know, blood orange that has a very strong taste. Yeah, you like to finish it up with some yeah. uh, color, right? Yeah, we give some color. We're using some organic again, uh, heirloom tomatoes, just right, right there. And then and a, a little. little uh, yeah, you can finish it up in the dish. Just on top of the artichoke. Oh, there's a. It needs to be in a particular place, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice uh, unfortunately, I had so much food I can't eat that one anymore. But that was really good. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.